Welcome to Card Corner. These are the cards. That's the corner. Today is day number three on our advent calendar of trading cards. And we, something a little different today. There's no packs in our advent calendar, but we've got a couple of piles of cards. The first one is Beetlejuice. And the second one is YoMTV Wraps. So they're not in the pack, but that's okay. We will not discriminate. We got Jingle creeping around back here. So let's check it, the cards out. Beetlejuice is, of course, a cartoon from the mid 90s they made after the movie. And so this is literally just checklist for all the numbers. They don't have any of the titles or anything. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a big winter storm going on in the background. Christmas storm of 2022. Next up, we've got the Proud Parents card. Dad, you may be unemployed, son, but you did a great job. Mom, and you may be stinky, but we love you, Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice, but why are you always nagging me to do stuff like get a job or clean between my toes or clean by, behind my ears? Mom and Dad, because we love you. I'm not sure I get that joke. Next up, we've got the Garbage Man. Beetlejuice's dad. Beetlejuice, you need a job. There are plenty of jobs right here in the want ads. Or you could work at the neck bolt factory. Yeah, but I don't want them. I want to be a garbage man. Neck bolt factory, I guess, making the bolts for Frankensteins. I'd pick that job over garbage man, personally. Next up, we've got Foot Doctor. Instead of being a doctor four feet, he's a doctor that is a foot. I have a job, Pops. I'm a waiter. I wait around for people to give me their money. Seriously, I could get a job if I wanted to. I could do anything. Why, I could be a fireman or even a foot doctor. I thought he was a bio-exorcist. Next up, BJ's Candy Bar. Uh, calling him BJ seems a little too familiar. I don't know if we're on that uh, kind of a casual basis. There are times during the day when even a ghost has to fill the, those voids. That's when Beetlejuice reaches for his favorite candy bar. Good and buggy, with a beetle in every bite. Because he's dead. Next up is Loosen Up. Getting all pulled apart there. Lydia says... Oh, I hate to disappoint you, Beetlejuice, but Uncle Clyde and Aunt Zipporah are the biggest duds in the universe. Then Beetlejuice says, Yeah, well, maybe we can, you know, loosen them up. By pulling them apart like that. Next, we've got Tall, Dark, and Hairy. Looks like it's the werewolf. Uh, Claire, you can't dance with them. What's the matter, Lydia? Afraid I'll take tall, dark, and hairy away from you? Like, perfect. Man, this is a rough cut on that one. Watch those extra toppings. Ooh, that Claire Brewster is the snobbiest, snootiest girl in the universe. I know. I want me to deliver a slimy... Want me to deliver a... 
I know, want me to deliver a slimy piece, salami pizza to her door? Phew, I gotta watch those extra toppings. Sorry about that. How about that punch? It's like the punch is punching you. The, the juice punch is giving you the fisticuff type. Mmm, punch. Wonder what's in it. It's a right jab and a left hook and a right cross and an uppercut slam finally winding up for a knockout. We've got Cousin BJ. Is that uh, like a slingshot in his pocket? I'll show you my bug collection. Great, I love snacking between meals. By the way, Aunt Delia, wanna know why the chicken crossed the road? Cause he was pinned to the punk rocker's ear, that's why. I don't get that one. And last but not least, we got Make My Day. Maybe if we dry out the monsters, they'll shrink back to size. Good thinking, babes, but how? I hope this portable hair dryer is powerful enough. Go ahead, monster, make my day. It's a Dirty Harry reference right there. All right, those are the Beetlejuice cards. I think my personal favorite is the checklist card, just because it's made uh, not just a screenshot from the show, and I do like the D Dirty Harry reference. Next up, we've got the Yo! MTV Raps. So we're going to be shifting gears a little bit to the music side. First up, we've got Vanilla Ice. Who made Ice Ice Baby. First rapper to hit number one on the charts. I believe there was a bit of a controversy with the Queen song that sounds similar. Next up, we've got Fab Five Freddy. Not known not only for being a, a VJ, but as a director as well. Directed several music videos. Two of his works are Gangster Just to Get a Rep and Brand Nubians Wake Up. Next up, we've got Redhead Kingpin from the Rap Pack. He's from Inglewood, New Jersey. And his most popular record was Do the Right Thing. Looks like he got his start rapping with Neighborhood Cruise. He recorded a demo which landed him a record deal. And soon he released his first album, A Shade of Red. It's the single Do the Right Thing. The album with no name. I think there's a lot of albums with no name. Next up is Circus of Power. Some grunge rock band. I do not know them. Proof positive that there's more to this bunch than their tattoos, motorcycles, and attitude. So is this. Not sure if this one is part of this uh, MTV rap set or not. Pro Set Superstars music cards, so I guess we got a variety here. We got Dino with the shades there. Born in Encino, California, and spent much of his youth in Las Vegas, where he performed with a soul 
vocal quartet called Esquire before launching his own one-man musical enterprise as a singer, songwriter, producer, and multi-instrumentalist. During 1989, he toured with New Kids on the Block. I've always been attracted to soul music, and I've always looked towards black artists for inspiration, he says. His albums are 24-7 and Swingin'. There he is on the back there. Different pictures. We got third bass. But it's the music kind of bass. MC Search began, began his recording career as a solo rapper. One of his early singles was Hey Boy, Go White Boy, Prime Minister. Pete Nice started out as a record producer working with Mantronics, Just Ice, and Run DMC. They teamed up in 1988 to form Third Base. So fly. I don't think I've heard their, their songs before. Here we've got Granddaddy IU from the Rap Pack. He's from Long Island, New York. His initials stand for In There and Untouchable and represent his slow but mellow, hard but smooth rap style. His career started when he got noticed by Biz Markie at a local club where he rapped as a regular. What a story. Peace. All right, last card is Maxi Priest. Got the shades there. Born in England, the reggae singer Maxi Priest has received acclaim on both sides acclaim on both sides of the Atlantic for his novel blending of reggae with other pop forms. His rendition of Cat Stevens' song Wild World made the top 25 charts. His latest album, Bonafide, features a variety of styles, including ballads and dances. Got a bunch of albums down there. I have not heard him, but I do like reggae, so maybe I'll check him out. All right, so we got a bunch of different cards here. Looks so like we got Yo MTV Raps, Pro Set Superstars, and I think this wrap pack is its own set as well. So that's pretty cool. A nice variety of different music cards and some Beetlejuice. If you want to trade me for any of these cards, the information on how to do that is on the About page of my YouTube channel. Please leave a comment. Let me know which cards you like. And... Uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, see you later.